Hi and welcome. So if you've ever tried to add a MailChimp pop-up on your WordPress website, you may have found that it doesn't work even after you embed the code on the footer. One of the reasons why that happens is because the MailChimp jQuery code usually collides with the WordPress code. And in this video, we're going to see how we can go about that and we are going to see two ways in which you can make the form show up on your WordPress website without using any plugin. So one of the reasons why I decided that I should start using the MailChimp form without using any plugin or any third party like MailMunch is because I've been using MailMunch on my site for a very long time. And when I do an analysis of my web of my web page, I realize that MailMunch is really, really adding to the load time on my website. And you can see all this, uh, all the code from MailMunch. CSS and JavaScript files that my website has to wait to load before it can actually tell the browser that it is fully loaded. And that's why I have decided that I will start using the MailChimp default pop up without using any third party plugin or any third party platform like MailMunch. So, the first way in which you can do this is you will just take the code and you'll add it on your header, which is not recommended in most cases when you're adding any third party scripts you need to add them on the footer of your web page uh, so even though this will work for you you shouldn't do it because it is not recommended it's going to slow down your web page the browser will have to download everything in the form before it can actually go down and continue loading the other things that are on your web page okay that is not true for http2 but most people are still using HTTP 1. So if you want to add it, you'll just come here, click on view code, and let's just copy this code, control A, control C, and I will put it on the header. And if you're putting it on the header, make sure, make sure, this is very important, you put it before the WP head, because this is where all the scripts, all the plugins are loaded for WordPress. Okay, so that's why you need to put it before this, because if you put it after this, the jQuery will have already been loaded and we don't want that. We want this to work out without really having any issues with WordPress. So you put it before the WP head. That's the most important thing. And then if I just update this and then I clear my browser cache, I clear my WordPress cache. Then I come to a new private window. And if I load my website, I should be able to see the form. Okay, so you can see uh, even MailMunch is loaded, but we don't want MailMunch. So this is the one for MailChimp. And you can see it works. If you put it on the header above the WP head, it's going to work, but that's not recommended. So let's see which is the other way we can do this so that our pop-up MailChimp pop-up works on WordPress by default if we add the code on the footer. So I'm just going to close this for now and if I come here I'll remove this code so that I can put it on the footer. Control X and then I will update and come to the footer and here on the footer let me add it before the mail munch. And I can add it after that WP footer. You can add it anywhere. You can, most cases you should add it here before the last one. I can just put it here. It doesn't really matter. And now the thing that I want to, that I want to do to make sure that it works is to make sure that I add something that tells jQuery not to conflict with this. Okay. You see the second script. This is where we're having conflicts and so if I just add here, no conflict, I'm sure it's going to work. So let me just copy it from here instead of having to type it. Copy jQuery, no conflict, paste. And since this is WordPress, in most cases, if you are, if you're using other things, you're going to use the dollar sign here like that. But since this is WordPress, we are going to use jQuery, 
just jQuery instead of using the dollar sign. So just by adding this jQuery no conflict before this, okay? You add it before this. This is going to make sure that jQuery does not conflict with any code that comes next. And so if I update the file and then clear the cache and if I open Chrome, let me just open Chrome this time round and I'll open new incognito window. So there we go. You can see that MailChimp is loaded and MailMunch is also loaded, but I will be removing this MailMunch element very soon. So that's how you can add the MailChimp pop up on your WordPress website. And the way that you do it in brief is you can add the code on the header. Where is the header? You can add the code on the header and make sure you add it before WP head because this is where all the plugin injections, all the script injections will happen in WordPress. So you add it before the WP head. And then the other way is you can add it on the footer and this is a recommended way. You add it on the footer and then on the second line, on the second script, where is the second script? There we go. Now on the second script right there, you will add jQuery no conflict before the require statement. And this will help to prevent any conflicts between the MailChimp jQuery and the WordPress jQuery. So if you come here to take the code, the second script here, just before there, you'll add, you'll add the no conflict, okay? Right there on the second script. And then you can copy and put it on the footer or you can put it on any web page where you want it. If you want it to appear on specific pages only on your WordPress website, maybe you don't want it on the home page and you're running WordPress, you can take this code and you can put it on a sidebar. So if you take the code, you put it on a sidebar widget and you'll use the HTML code widget on your WordPress and it's going to work. Okay, as long as you have the jQuery no conflict, it's going to it's going to make sure that it doesn't conflict with WordPress. And that's what usually makes it not work. So that's it for this video. And uh, I say that if you didn't watch the video, if you didn't watch the video on how to how to work with the MailChimp pop up, the new pop up area, just go back to that video and you're going to see that we covered different parts, how you can create all these different types of forms in MailChimp and you can see they added a bunch of things so you can just go and see which one you want you can see they even added an exit intent pop-up so if you want an exit intent go ahead and watch that section just go ahead and create it right here so that's it for this video if you have any questions make sure you let me know i will see you in the next one